What should society be less accepting of? People who get on an elevator before others have had a chance to get off. The expectation that employees be reachable constantly even outside of work hours, or during paid slash unpaid time off. It effectively creates a situation where you are o ro -na -lo 24 over 7. Seriously, please like and subscribe, and comment something nice for your favorite reddit slave. Bad parenting and getting children when the conditions the children have to live in would clearly be bad. It's way easier to mess up a young brain than many seem to realize. The inability to accept that you are wrong. You are not the divine being that is all-knowing and is never wrong. Every single person can be wrong about something. Misinformation. It sucks that when someone posts something on social media that can be debunked with a 10 second Google search and you point this out. You're the one who everyone will think is a twat. Getting a pet, only to dump it in a shelter a year later, when it is no longer convenient to have a pet. Using the phone while driving. More accidents occur because of phone usage than drunk driving. I don't want to get hurt because you had to text your boyfriend. Child beauty pageants. People who come up with plans and on it follow through with them without a little common courtesy. Planned obsolescence. Drunk driving. It takes like 4 DUIs in my state before it's a felony. Prescribing antibiotics like it's fucking candy. My friend has a cold. Goes to an idiot doctor. She just gives her antibiotics which she takes until she feels better. Doesn't even take the full dose. The doctor is an idiot because most colds are caused by viruses and she doesn't order any tests. And my friend is an idiot, because I told her 390,209 times about antimicrobial resistance and her answer is always, but my doctor gave me this, and I felt better after a few days. Yeah no shit you feel. Better after a few days. That's because colds only last a few days and you would have felt better, even if you hadn't taken the antibiotic. She does this 4 times a year and ruins her stomach in the process, and doesn't realize how this can be dangerous. Stop taking antibiotics because of a cold. You have a viral infection. Pseudotions. Fucking weirdo kiddie beauty pageants. People having phone conversations on speaker in public. Or sitting your kid down with a YouTube video with the speaker on in public. I don't care that it keeps your kid under control. Every generation before this had to learn to behave in public without the help of a screen. Not using turn signals. Super bright headlights. Blindly following the popular opinion. People don't think for themselves nearly as much as they should. There is no harm in taking a minute to research the accuracy of something before stating your opinion on it. Arseholes. When they cut the line in a queue or act in a screwed up way towards cashier at a coffee shop slash grocery store or drive like a maniac. Most people at least in my country let the assholes do whatever they want. Don't accept that. Especially when they are outnumbered. Tell them to behave or fuck off. The stricter we are towards them, the lesser they act, as if they own the place. Make your own, and other lives better, by standing up at times against unacceptable behavior. Prison rape. Rich people and politicians breaking laws as they please. People who are late, either on purpose, or without regard for others. Treating retail slash service workers like garbage. These people have zero control over their company's policies. But some customers think it is okay to take their frustration out on service workers in the nastiest of ways. The customer is not always right. And there needs to be less enabling and more shaming in response to a rare car and old behavior. Not vaccinating your kids. That is just abuse. People excusing shitty behavior without a is just how they are. Are okay but that does not mean it is not bad. I don't care if your grandpa grew up in a different type. Still cannot be using racial slurs. Jumping to conclusions. Pack mentalities. The lack of individualism and free thought is mind blowing to me. After reading this thread by controversial, I have come to the conclusion that I hate people. God, I was starting to think the world was improving, but now I am just fucking depressed. Edit my answer to this question. These people and the people upvoting them. Men being treated like they aren't allowed to have feelings. Driving high. Crazy how many people think it is fin so drive stoned. 
I know it is not as dangerous as driving drunk, there are studies on this, but it is still an idiotic irresponsible and selfish thing to do. Built in obsolescence. Products absolutely fucking suck nowadays. Nothing lasts more than a few years. And that's entirely by design. All products should either be guaranteed through a significant period of time, or come with a sticker detailing its expected lifespan. Rewarding bad behavior. Elder abuse and neglect. Watching loud videos in public and disturbing everyone. Just use earphones or turn the volume down. Toxic mind games in relationships and dating. Not washing your hands after using the bathroom. Even worse, just barely putting your hand, singular, under the tap after using the bathroom. You only do that because you're ashamed of the fact that you didn't wash and you want other people to think you did. It just makes it easier for your germs to spread. You gross metherfica. Driving without glasses. If you need them. Where I'm from the enforcement is thankfully strict. But I've heard, mostly American, people say stuff like, yeah, when I got glasses I was like wow, I can see a lot better, especially when driving I could see signs, like, five times as far away as normally, but like, who wants to wear glasses all the time lol, I even lost my pair, because I didn't use them, I'm sorry, no, you absolutely do need glasses, that's almost as bad as drunk driving, and it, Absolutely floors me how casually people seem to take the topic. The attitude my feelings are your problem. Especially when combined with I don't have to consider your feelings at all because you're one of them. Adultery and other forms of psychological abuse. It's romanticized in movies and TV shows. Victims aren't recognized as victims. It's gross. Edit. I didn't realize this would get such a response. Thanks for the awards by the way, but since it seems so many of you care, here's something heavily related that's worth a read. HTTPS slash slash www chumplady com slash 2017 slash 11 slash facilin chumps slash. People using their religion as an excuse for their intolerant and shitty behavior, not vaccinating their kids, or getting them medical treatment, or abusing them. No Jim Bob by dot give a fuck how much you pray and believe that you're going to be raptured you still can't fire sally because she likes girls yes beating your kids with a paddle is abuse even if it's in the bible if little to me needs a blood transfusion to live he's fucking getting it bitch making a lot of kids you can't afford and making their lives miserable jeffrey epstein's death it's sad that it's just become a giant joke now all the lives of young girls he ruined and all the wealthy men his death exonerated. Wendy Williams. Political parties. Disregard for facts and thorough thought process. The low jail times some people get for things like murder and rape. Like WTF. But Jamie got 900 years for a controlled substance, weed. Making it okay for people to die BC a company can't find a way to make it profitable. Not doing shit on group projects 